What's up WWE Champions Universe? This is Lee from Champions Chat and this is the next installment in the Should You Take Blank 6 Star Gold series. And by request, we have Logan Paul, the Ultimate Destroyer. Logan is an interesting character in this game, uh, you know, as obviously in real life. Uh, but quick, you know, no gear on him. He just is what he is. On the moves, uh, we're going to run what I call the Professor build because he was the first one I saw that showed how to run this one properly. Uh, shoot kicks, 4 MP green, deal damage, modify a 3x6 area to multiply gems of strength 6. And then the dodge strike combo, 6 MP purple move, uh, deal damage, choose 7 gems to make blue, and if the opponent's class is showboat, first deal damage and increase the multiply strengths by 5. And then the fireman's carry slam, deal damage, choose a 3 blue gem selection to destroy, pin bar will not Move on the entourage. We're gonna need Woods and Santa Hogan to start loaded turn one. That's four, five, and then six MP. The uh, green gems are based on tour, right? Your tour perks. Now I don't have tour perks on this account, so that may pose some problems for this video, and it's what would cause problems in yours as well. Because showdown feud, you know, unless you have a top line bonus. This isn't something you're probably going to run. I'm going to put Sherry on here since Logan Paul is rare and uh, Sherry is rare. But uh, you could also run Matt Hardy. You could also run, you know, Green MP plus one and uh, or plus two or whatever and MP up one. That would work even perhaps better. And then Zombie Gunther for blue gems do 30 and multi gems do 60. On the plate, we've got two rare plates I want to show you for him. The Pyro Princess, whenever you make six or more multiply gems, increase your blue gem damage by 50%. And the Timeless Style, whenever you activate a purple move, increase your blue gem damage by 250% for one turn. That is a big buff. We are running the 50% gem damage strap with double fury 2 and a 35% all gem damage metal. He is 6 silver. We're not on the candy store, the uh, the gold candy store account yet. We will be uh, for the official stream on Friday nights, but uh, right now when we're offline, we're just on this guy. So, we're going to go up against Zombie Sammy so you can see him up against the 6 gold and then I will go against a 6 silver showboat if I can find one on the road so you can kind of see what he does but again my big struggle is he is not gonna start loaded turn one and we didn't get anything uh, here that would give us green so this kind of shows you yeah and zombie Sammy's about to sub me so let's just go ahead and find somebody else let's find somebody else because this shows you, I do have one green prop, I could use it, but literally, they won't give us props on the test accounts, so, yeah, I can't show you it. So, let's do the most compelling content in all of Champions, uh, searching for somebody on the road to fight. Because <laughs> I don't want to go up against Big Papa Pump either, he also subs pretty quickly, and we're not on the uh, 6 gold, so I don't want to face up against somebody who is... Um, gonna sub us and I do want to see the damage output so let's see who we can find I'm trying to remember I, my go-to's aren't showboats on the road usually Sammy not Nikki Cross not Solo Santa Hogan would work but the tour the road is not totally unlocked and that's not unlocked Hmm, let's see here. Oh good, these are unlocked. Oh, oh, there he is, of course. Of course, LWO Eddie, totally forgot that he existed on the road. Okay, so now we can see what he does up against a showboat. That'll actually work better anyway. Eddie's not gonna sub us right off the bat anyway. All right, and we still don't have a green match. So I will use this just this once because literally that's all I could do <laughs> I mean you could see it there right like look I'll just do this so Eddie doesn't get us either way and look we're out of props now completely on the account 
Oy, oy, oy. Anyway, um, okay, so you're gonna choose a three by six area to make into green, or I'm sorry, multi gems. Uh, normally it'd be strength 10. Uh, let's see here. I want a purple and a green match all the way at the very bottom. All right, so you wanna try and put these over a green gem and a purple gem. That would be your goal right there. Uh, shouldn't he have, oh, that's right, it buffs him right here, gotcha. Okay, so as uh, Professor explained in, oh, except for we can't do that. Yeah, we can, we got this. All right, mm, no, I can't. And I don't have a purple, okay. So this is why Logan Paul is, uh, you'll see what I'm talking about, why I'm hesitating here in just a second. Um, but what you wanna do is you want to make a purple and a green uh, a match so that you create a row break and hit your purple slash green to keep things going. So uh, if I had thrown these on the top, I mean that would work. There's just really, the bottom row is the only one that has the purple and the green in the mix at the same time. So I almost just kind of have to choose. So I'll go for these greens that are uh, well, of course, that's going to cause a cascade. I guess I'm going for the purple. So what we want to do is we want to create a... Uh, no, I can't do that either because that's going to... So I can do it there, there, there. That's the way I can do it. Okay, that will hit the green one there. All right, so what we're trying to do that I'm explaining uh, in my brain here is you want to create a row break. So notice how we've got this right here. We're turning it blue. We've got this right here. It's gonna drop down because we break this gem right here and that is going to create a row break and it's going to give us our purple MP back. Unfortunately, it's not going to give us our uh, green MP back, but that is what it is, what it is. Then we just make other gems blue in the mix. Okay, so now we've got a setup for a row break. We hit this destroy three blue gems we click on this guy right here, which now creates a row break. And then you can uh, destroy this one, and I'm hoping that it'll drop that green down in just to get an, a green in the mix anyway. And then we can destroy those guys. Pin bar won't move. Boom, boom. And we've refilled our purple. So now we can buff everything up again and create some blues. Bam and bam. Now those are 20. We can make them all blue. Try to match any purples that you can in the mix as well and see what we hit for. That was 54 million. 54 million. Pretty sure that's right. There's no way it was 5 million. That was way, 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 way too much to hit to be 5 million. So that's got to be 54 million right there. So you can see it takes a lot of clicking to do, but my goodness, you get those and it does an insane damage. Now we buffed the Tiffy Plate twice uh, in the mix of that. We buffed the, um, the Multi Gym, the Pyro Plate once. Let's run it back with less explaining so that, that way you can see it again and me not be just staring at the board aimlessly because that is his biggest struggle, uh, to be quite honest. Oh, look at this. As long as he doesn't load his sub, we can do this, we can do this. So, Eddie's animations are super long. Pin me, pin me, pin me, thank you. Okay, awesome, awesome. Uh, okay, so now what you can do though is you can use this as an opportunity to try and get if possible, green and purple in the same row. So, yeah, yeah, right on top. On top is hard, top and bottom are where I don't want things though. Uh, but what I do have is this gym row right here will actually break green and purple together, so that will be super nice. So, let's make this multi area here. That's gonna prop the Pyro Princess Plate. Uh, let's do it where I don't hit the wild card gym. There we go. Then we're going to create the blue, which is also going to increase the multi gems and increase our blue gem damage. So like right now, our blue gem damage is 121, 1.4 million on those multis. Now, 
we hit this I'm gonna have to create the row break first uh, so what we want is we want one two three four right so that's going to break that row it's gonna hit purple it's gonna break green everything is gonna be good and then we can just create some blues just don't match them there sweet we did it all right now our blue gems are doing 206k per and our multis are three uh, 30 uh, 3.4 million we break this blue gem right here Badoop. and then we can break a couple of these just to get some added hit pin bar doesn't move everything is reloaded that was a 20 million hit right there by itself but wait <laughs> there's more because now we can do it again and uh, we can do some fun things like this right here that's gonna hit some green and purples although any of them on the same row just the bottom row or the second from the bottom row actually there you go this is going to buff the plate now we've buffed the pyro plate twice now we're buffing the tiffy plate again boom and now we're gonna make blue gems so I want uh, this row right here I'm gonna to have to erase one of these but that we can do then we'll make some blues make sure they don't connect there we go and then we can do this pin bar will not move again oh you know what we're gonna to have to destroy this one so that it doesn't cause problems this one and this one got him that was 38 million and by the way this is at six <laughs> six bronze or six uh, silver so you know this is doing some pretty neat stuff then you get it's very clicky very 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 clicky and it's very tricky on top of being clicky I know I know I used words there didn't I um, all right so now let's see this we can't do because well actually we can because there's already one there that 25 blue underneath of it right here you can't see that click um, there uh, there there no okay let's just stop I don't want to fill the board up there we go and we'll do one more last time just to see what this hits for because you're building every single time you do it so we're hitting a 25 times blue there anyway so that alone should hit for a ton 33 million right there 33 million and then we just keep going so I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and do one last drop on the board for these this will override a bunch of my 25 times so I'll hit it right there and then we're just gonna make them blue I just want to see what we can do at this point because there's so much connected on the board now so we'll go here 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 uh, no, instead of these 15 times up here, I want to get these 25 times, guys, right here. All right, let's see what this hits for. Kablooey, kablam, kaplowey, 147 million. Um, so, yeah, Logan Paul can do some things, like serious, serious things. Would you use this in Feud? Not unless you had a top line bonus, period. Um because you, you're not going to get started. Would you use it in tours? Absolutely. Uh, but it, it does take a lot of brain, like burning brain cells to make it happen. And so it just is a, you know, a question mark. Like, uh, would you use that most of the time? I don't know. He does have a pyro build right here. Make six random multiply gems into pyro, which will swatch, swap all gems above it into purple. That you could also use, um, you know, you've got a one by four to swap green. You got a sub, but this is really where the money is. Um, and this was all silver. So at gold, those gem damage percentages would be doubled. So should you take Logan Paul six star gold? Uh, the Tiffy plate did a lot for that, but you can still hit insane damage without it. But I would say if you have the Tiffy plate and want to put it on Logan, that would be a big one. A Pyro Princess plate, that's a big one. 
Entourage members, uh, really it's just Sherry right there, but again, you could very easily also put Matt Hardy or one of the uh, times one. And actually, if you were to put the green moves, start with two multi gyms, go up by one person on there, that would actually probably even be smarter and safer because then you only need a mid line bonus to get him going. But as you can see, he can do some pretty crazy damage if you build them out so let me know what you think in the comments section would you have run the pyro build would you have run you know the juggernauts uh, you know just let me know and uh share this video with your friends or faction mates who's going hey i really kind of want to secretly take logan paul up and shame my whole family to six star gold should i do it how do i use him here's how we'll see you on the next one bye you wouldn't really bring shame upon your whole family. It's just a joke. Uh, just for fun. Uh -huh.